with us tonight our, our Vice President uh, Didier Roux, who's in charge of uh, research and innovation and he's going to give you the, the insights in terms of what the construction industry might look like in, in maybe 10 years or 20 years or beyond. So without, without further ado, it's Didier Roux and that's, that's, not a, uh, <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a sign for a song. Yeah? Okay, so I'm very proud and very happy to be with you uh, this evening. So R&D is obviously, like Saint-Gobain, global organization, uh, which has history in Europe, but we have also, obviously, a research center in, in USA, and more recently in Asia. The size are very different depending on the countries, and uh, uh, obviously we are very diverse in terms of research centers as we are in the activities. But that's the seven main research centers that we have. Uh, uh, in France, obviously, uh, in USA, close to Boston, in Northboro, uh, in Shanghai, Herzogenrat in Germany, uh, Chantren, which is uh, more devoted to flat glass, and uh, uh, in India, uh, recently, uh, in Chennai, very, very closely linked to the uh, uh, Indian Institute of Science of, uh, of, of Madras. So we have, uh, I will just talk about strategic programs and cross-business programs. These programs are made to uh, 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 either open Saint-Gobain to new businesses or to use the synergies that we have between the different activities uh, in terms of technology to obviously be stronger. We have also another organization which we found uh, quite interesting and very useful. It's a special organization to deal with startups. We obviously, Saint-Gobain is a global company, it's a very big company. We, we don't know how to work with startups, so we created a specific entity in order to talk to startups and be able to find the best way to collaborate. And we learn a lot with that, and I do believe that we, we, have, we have a model of collaboration with startups which is quite unique. I want just to finish, and this will be the end of my talk, on a very fruitful collaboration, and we have people from Leeds and Salford who are in the room, a very fruitful collaboration that we have done here in the UK. Uh, <coughs> the idea is really to try to understand the behavior of a full house, a complete house, uh, in terms of energy efficiency. And we found in UK something, some tool which is, I believe, unique and that we use with the people who are running these tools, uh, people from Salford, a tool that enables us to be able to control in a scientific way very well the energy efficiency of, the, of a building and to measure it. The fact that it's a real house which has been rebuilt and that you can play with that has been extremely useful to do something which has never been done, which is to study very carefully what is the contribution of each retrofit part of the envelope, the roof, the wall, the floor, the windows, on the energy efficiency of the building. And this in a very precise way. And this is what he ha has been done with the University of Leeds and University of Salford, and we were quite happy of the result. We have learned obviously how to measure it, and we measured with several tools, and we have several ways to measure all that, but also we learn about the performance of the systems and the materials, uh, uh, and we learn about our product, obviously, quite a lot doing that. Saint-Gobain is proud to be one of the uh, 100 the most innovative uh, companies in the world in this uh, 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 classification from Thomson Reuters, and we do believe that if we do that, it's because we spend money, it's because we work. We work also, with, as I explained, with outside uh, people from university, from, with startups, with customers, and so on. But I do believe that we have to do even more than what we are doing. And there is a, certainly a bright future for the uh, evolution of the research of saint -Gobain. A real building is not exactly what is simulated in this uh, Salford uh, uh, facility. Um, a real building, first there is sun and outside and so on, it's changing, so it's not the same. But also you have people inside, and obviously people, they, they, they open windows, they, they, there are many, many different things. And, but what is missing, in fact, the most is the reference. Because we know, more or less, because we can measure it, what happens in a real house with real people living in the house with a real weather outside. What we know much less, in fact, is the performance of the object alone, as, as, as a pure material. So the comparison of both is important, but you need the reference. 
And what is bringing, or what brings the Salford unity, which I think is very interesting, is the reference. Now, once you have the reference, you have to do exactly what you say, which you have to compare what you measure for the performance of the building and compare it with what happens in real life. And the understanding and the coupling with the behavior of the people is something that you have to learn about. When, when you talk to people and when you, you, you think about what uh, an house is, the point that you mentioned is a very important one, is the modularity or the flexibility of the home. How the, the, the place that you, you, you buy can follow the way you use it or your needs, knowing that the needs you have today may be different from the needs you have in 10, 15, 20 and more. Uh, if, a, if a house, as you say, goes through a transition from single couple, three kids, teenagers, um, absent, what they call it, absent nest, where the children are left home, different ways in which you can adapt your house. So uh, we, we worked through a couple of intensive projects with this uh, outside company working with us to do it quickly, to gather the ideas, to come up with concepts and ideas, and rapid prototype. And we're still at the early stages, but some of these products we're starting to launch through the housing market as, as options, and some will take a little bit longer uh, to develop. So um, watch this space, and we're starting to launch some of these products uh, this year and, and into the future. Thank you.